furnace repair. So now we're calling for heat. This is a must. So as you can see, I have everything opened up. I have the dead man switch over here set to uh, be on. You already know in my previous videos where I replaced the uh, control board and uh, our motherboard, whatever you want to call it. Today, we're going to re be replacing a common issue. If I can get a little bit zoomed in here. And uh, well, that's actually this right, it's in right in front of us. I want to get the tip of it, but I have it in front of me too. So this is what it looks like. You do not want to touch this because you'll, you'll ruin the sensor. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this. And all to do that is uh, you have to take out that little bolt there and it'll just briefly come out. So we'll start by disconnecting the wire. There we go. And uh, I'm going to undo that bolt, put this one in, and we'll see what happens. So I took it out, which is easy. I can actually just demonstrate it with this one how to do it. So I'll put it in. Oh, i got to switch hands. Sorry, guys. And I'm wearing gloves, too, by the way. So, you uh, So cramped in here. Oh, sorry. And it's pretty idiot-proof, hence why I'm able to do it. There you go. I'm done. So, take it out. You undo the bolt. You just drag it backwards. And there you go. And this is to kind of compare them. They are practically identical. So, that's it. Sensor is in. And now, there it is. Installed. Now, well, turn the furnace on. So, changing the... Um, Flame sensor did not work. So the next thing that I want to change will be um, the temperature sensor. And that'll be another video. Thanks for watching, guys.